Folks, thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting this channel. If you enjoyed this video and you have not subscribed, please do so and click on the notification bell. And if you are subscribed, please check to make sure you still are. The algorithm is aggressively removing subscribers at an alarming rate. I also thank you for the super thanks, folks, and promise to answer each and every one I receive. Help us keep fighting to save pop culture because the forces of wokeness are stacked against us. Thanks for watching, and now, on to the video. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, broadcasting from my hidden base at the center of the Earth, and I stand before you today to strike a blow against the cultural vandals at Paramount who have taken one of the greatest franchises on Earth and allowed it to be degraded, abused, and violated by the Vandal Hacks at Secret Hideout. I'm referring, of course, to Star Trek. For those of you who don't know, I started this channel in 2017 out of sheer rage at the first four episodes of Star Trek Discovery, or as I like to call it, STD. I could not believe my eyes as I watched this ugly, stupid perversion of everything Gene Roddenberry stood for unfold before me. We were introduced to all sorts of idiotic abominations like Klingorks who use torches on their spaceships for light, Vulcans who believe in violence and practice it regularly, a magic mushroom drive that makes the ship twirl like Tanya Harding on speed before teleporting anywhere in the universe using an invisible fungus network in space, and a wooden plank playing a human stepsister that Spock never ever had, a bestest ever joke of a character stupidly named Michael Burnham, whom I promptly renamed Mikey Spock, mainly because it was the most dismissive, mocking, and diminishing name I could come up with. Star Trek has always been one of my favorite obsessions. Love of Trek gave birth to this very channel, and yet, over the last six years, I have watched this franchise wither and sicken and ultimately die, buried under severed baby heads, F-bombs, plucked out eyes, sonar in the vacuum of space, and a cynical, hateful darkness completely antithetical to everything that Gene Roddenberry stood for. As a result of this constant incompetence, abuse, and hatred of the franchise by the hacks at Secret Hideout, ratings for Star Trek have plummeted, Star Trek toys and merchandise have all but vanished from stores, and even videos reviewing this trash on my channel no longer get any views, which is why I stopped making Star Trek videos on this channel. Ha! <laughs> no need to. No one watches them. It's dead, Jim, and I imagine no one is going to watch this particular video either. And yet, just when you think you're out of the Star Trek video business, Paramount does something so fucking stupid, so damned insulting, so bloody outrageous, they drag me back in and make me take to the airways again to denounce them not for killing Star Trek, but for abusing its corpse. Recently, I saw an exchange on Twitter X between William Shatner and a fan. Herr Wunderlich asked, will we ever see Captain Kirk again? And William Shatner replied, All you have to do is look at the Paramount Plus graphics to answer that question. And I ask you, who exactly is missing from this Star Trek graphic? You are, O oh future ruler of Earth, and woe be unto them, O oh great one. Well, yes, I, I am missing, yes, but that's not what I'm talking about, Harvey Cthulhu. And by the way, kissing my ass isn't going to get me to push the button to free you, no matter how Ed McManish you get. Ah, fiddle of shit. Well, it was worth a try. The answer's obvious, dude, to anyone with a brain in their fucking head. Captain James T. Kirk is missing from that graphic. True, Captain Kirk is the heart and soul of Star Trek, but hey... Everybody makes mistakes. The graphic designer screwed up, no biggie. He probably got fired and now it's fixed, right? Wrong, Harvey. This was no mistake. This is a long-term and ongoing policy at Paramount for years now and Shatner has had enough of it. He followed up that post 
with another posted image that clearly shows this is no accidental omission, but an ongoing and deliberate insult to the most important character in Star Trek history. Shatner posted this image, and here's what he said. It's not the first time it's been going on for years. It makes no difference to me that a group who think they are enlightened or whatever they think they are obviously feels threatened by the Kirk character. It's a character from a 1960s TV show. Get over it. And in these images, we see manifested in graphic terms the sheer hatred and contempt that Paramount and Secret Hideout have for Star Trek and its most vital character, Captain Kirk. Look at this image. Consistently, obsessively, they have insulted the original Star Trek series with canon violations, character humiliations, and outright disgusting abuse, like plucking Icheb's eye out as torture, having kids eating human triple hybrid creatures complete with hair as breakfast cereal. These people hate Star Trek folks, the real Star Trek. The Star Trek that we've loved for years. These filthy cultural vandals just delight in shitting all over what we love. They've done it for years now, and these ads are proof. I mean, look at this revolting garbage, folks. In this Star Trek Day promo, they have front and center Mikey Spock, the most insufferable character ever, with Captain Puke from Suck New Worlds, Captain Pukard, who starred in their Pucard series, a show so damn abominable it has made me despise Patrick Stewart and ruined Star Trek The Next Generation for me forever. They have Maki Spock, the obnoxious animated smartass big mouth from lowest decks or bottom deck or bottom of the barrel deck, I'm not sure what the title is. They have some other animated fuckhead, I have no idea who this idiot is. And then they shoved over to the sides the actual Star Trek characters. Notice they put Uhura in front of Spock because agenda and feminism and wokeness trump reality, even though, let's be clear, though I do love Uhura, she's a minor character compared to Spock. Hell, compared to Dr. McCoy, who is excluded altogether from this shit, I guess. To make more room for the fucking animated character, I have no idea who he or she is, Archer and Sisko shoved over to the far ends these people are scumbags, period. And this is graphic proof as to why Star Trek is dead. They should put these images on its damn tombstone. Hey, just to play devil's advocate here, maybe the reason why those other characters are front and center is because, from what your spies have told you, Paramount and CBS are required to do everything possible to make secret hideout Kurtzman Trek succeed. So, of course, they have to put those idiot characters front and center. Yes, you emetic emerald idiot. But that doesn't explain the complete absence of Captain Kirk, does it? Consistently, offensively, and insultingly, Captain Kirk is excluded because he's the ultimate heroic, toxic, straight male character, and the very sight of him makes woke snowflakes melt from a hundred yards away. <laughs> the skull of Calderon is quite correct in this. There is simply no rational reason why Captain Kirk should be excluded from celebrating Star Trek's past other than Paramount, CBS, Secret Hideout all hate Captain Kirk. From their actions these past six years, it's painfully clear to me they hate Star Trek, they hate Gene Roddenberry, they hate the very civilization that gave rise to those things, and they especially hate Star Trek fans. These things are, to my way of thinking, beyond dispute. Any Trekker who has watched Kurtzman Trek or New Trek, as it is often called, has only succeeded in abusing themselves, and let me assure you, Kurtzman Trek has absolutely taken the fun out of self-abuse. Perhaps the first time that that has happened in history. I have never seen anything worse in my life than the sheer incompetence, franchise hatred, and fan abuse of this hateful, hollow, sad, and sorry thing called Kurtzman Trek. Literally. Of all the horrible garbage spewed out from the bowels of woke assholes in Hollywood, this show remains the worst thing I have ever seen in my fucking life. No one 
who worked on Kurtzman Trek in any way, shape, or form would ever be allowed to work in film or television again if this was a sane universe, which clearly it is not. And so, the hate continues, the abuse continues, the disgusting behavior continues, this time directed at the great William Shatner and all of us who love him. I tell you to boycott Kurtzman Trek, but there's no need. <laughs> What's the point? The ratings are in the gutter. No one talks about Star Trek anymore. They have committed Harry Carey on their own woke altar. Paramount stock is in the toilet. Star Trek products are off the shelf. And probably no one will even watch this video, but fuck it. When someone insults Captain Kirk, you're supposed to do something about it. It doesn't matter if the franchise is dead. He's Captain Kirk, and you're supposed to do something about it. If you don't, it's bad. Bad for Captain Kirk fans everywhere. And as for me, no matter what happens, Captain Kirk will always be my captain. So fuck you, Paramount. Fuck you, Secret Hideout. And kiss my armored ass. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 